Hey guys, what's going on? Not sure if uh, any of you saw it online, but now in stores, and I got mine from Walmart, uh, but I'm, I know 100% Target has it also, but I ended up getting mine from Walmart um, on specially marked Hanes products, uh, and this is obviously box of briefs. Uh, you can get a pack of Michael Jordan cards from Upper Deck Flair. Uh, now this pack of five box of briefs plus one bonus was sixteen dollars fifteen ninety eight. So I bought two of them, and I'm trying to go trying to go through this really quickly not to make the video wrong. I mean video long. Sorry. <laughs> uh, on this side it has some details and the checklist, and I'll go over that after I open it. Not now because I don't want to waste people's time. On this side it has the pack, uh, kind of like taped inside, and I just cut through it. Uh, to take it out just to kind of make the video go longer because it took me about maybe five minutes almost like surgery to try and uh, remove the packs without cutting any of the uh, box of briefs so like I said uh, it's new it's in the store I saw it online on Twitter um, that people have been opening these and like I said so I spent $32 for these two all together and as you get older you can never have enough socks you know undershirts and, and underwear so I bought two of them. I'm like, I'll always use them and, you know, you go through them pretty easily. Or very quickly, actually. So I'll probably maybe do another one and get some socks. Um, I know they definitely have it for undershirts. They definitely have it for the underwear. Socks, I'll have to double check. I didn't remember seeing any, but I didn't really look. Because I went to Walmart last night after, like, midnight. And I just wanted to get home and, and get out of there. When I saw it online, I was like, you know what, let me go get some real quick before they sell out. Uh, so you can, um, so that's that, $632. So these are the cards, I, I cut them off. Uh, you can get autographs. Uh, I did look at the checklist, and it's not on the card. Oh, they do have it on the cards, okay. But in a nutshell, uh, you can get an autograph, one the odds are one in a hundred and eight thousand packs are gonna have an autograph uh, and then the the parallels from there on are pretty easy to get um, like you see and there probably doesn't they don't have a lot of value I don't think so if you're looking to sell it on eBay you probably won't get much because uh, it's kind of easy to to get them get uh, parallels and, and stuff like that so it's a uh, red is like one in, in less than a pack, so you, you should be able to get one. Um, red foil. Blue is one in two and a half packs. All-star inserts is one in 1.11 packs. All-star gold, one in 10 packs. Base set autograph. Parallel is one in 108,000 packs. So it's going to be really hard to get them, but I figure I'd try. Uh, since I do videos, it should be pretty helpful. I probably might buy two more or something. So I'm going to probably look for socks first. Because I guess, <laughs> especially with laundry, nobody likes doing laundry. It's it's harder to um, to get yourself to do laundry. So I just buy a lot of socks, like some people. So here's the first pack. And uh, I do see a red foil. But like I said, the chances of getting a red foil, etc. are like one in a pack. So... Uh, so here's a, I'll go over this really quickly, I mean, this, this is going to only be two packs, so it doesn't mind if I stretch it out a little, it's okay if I stretch it out a little bit and kind of show you guys what's on the back. Um, a lot of that stuff I, I knew already, he's 6'6", six, six. I knew he was born in Brooklyn, uh, his birthday, his birthday just passed, uh, Hall of Fame, so that's not too bad. I'll probably end up sleeving these up. Hopefully, maybe people don't want to buy it and they'll uh, end up uh, wanting to buy it on eBay. I I'll probably won't sell these. I'll just add them to my Jordan collection. Uh, so the next... And these are by Flair, which is owned by Upper Deck. Uh, you see at the bottom. And it pretty much says the same thing. Just a kind of a, a different... This one might actually be worth... I wonder if this is worth the most because it's card number 23. I thought they just put that on all of them. But this one is card 39. 
So I'm just going to assume that I should probably be careful with this one since it's card 23. Maybe people will want that one. Unless the other pack has it, then I'm sure that's the one that they put in every pack. Um, like I tell people, like, rookie cards. What are the, uh, like, I feel like all these card companies put rookie cards in every pack now uh, to get people hyped up and, and wanting to buy them. So at first I thought, and this is, oh, you know, I kind of skipped over this. This is actually, like, the red foil. So the blue one that's coming up next uh so that is like a red and it's like a red foil cheap looking parallel it's not like a prism or a chrome uh but what the heck who am i to complain it's not like i spent a hundred dollars for a hobby box or something like that so this is the blue it looks like and uh that's card number 48 I guess card number 23 and 45 are probably going to be the most valuable ones because of the numbers that he wore. And I think he also wore 13. Um, and these I'll probably put up on Instagram or whatever. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, here's the all-star one. I'll go over this afterwards so I can remember what the odds were for this one. Um, I'm not sure how delicate people are treating these like should i have gloves on or how valuable they are i didn't look on ebay uh but the odds are really slim i mean not slim or they're, they're good odds to get some of these cards so uh here's another jordan so nothing great there i guess the best is the all-star again so let's just recap because i don't remember all-star Gold, which that's not gold, is one in ten. Oh, unless unless the yellow is gold, but I don't know. So that might be a nice hit if that's gold. I don't know a hundred percent. Uh, the blue is one in two and a half packs. So that was pretty much a good pack, or maybe one of the better ones that you can get. Uh, so here's pack number two. Okay, so the number 23 one is probably guaranteed in every in every pack. Uh, I doubt I'll be buying like 100,000 packs of these to try and hit an autograph. Uh, so the next one is the red. So you get like a red and a blue and an all-star, I guess, in every one. Because it looks like I cheated and it looks like that. That's pretty much what it's going to be. Like I said, I don't know which of any of these are the ones that people might want. So here's another red. And like I said, maybe I'll look, I definitely will look for some socks. And then I'll, I'll look for um, maybe some undershirts. Just to, I mean, socks, socks might be a little bit more expensive. I think you're going to probably spend, well, these are like $16 each. You'll probably spend, I think, close to $20 or above $20 for socks if they make it. Maybe the socks will have better chances or hits. I don't know. Um, so that's the blue. And here is another all-star so i i don't want to say that this is probably just the base all-star um so you probably get a red a blue a, a, an all-star and then two bases in each um So, I mean, these are the nicer ones. I guess the all-star ones are the nicer one because it's like a true prism refractor slash chrome if you're used to Topps products or Panini. Um, and then the last one is just another base. Uh, and it just says they've been uh, a partner with Michael since 1989. But, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. I was, I mean, 106,000 packs is, is really hard to kind of get an autograph. Uh, let's say 108,000. 
But it's something cool to add. I guess when these sell out, you know, if you have these, like... That's why I tell a lot of people that are young. If you have these, they might not be worth anything now. But when you ha if you have them, like, 30 years from now, um, you, they might have some value. Because I know a lot of Jordan cards from the 90s and 2000s, even, like, base cards or a simple parallel refractor or numbered can get you a couple hundred dollars. Um... Especially if you're a fan of him. And even LeBron stuff, like, uh, I'm trying to hold on to all my LeBron stuff because, like, um, you know, a couple years from now, it's going to be worth something. But anyways, that's it. I'll probably head out maybe tomorrow. I don't think I'll go today. Maybe look for some socks. I might open some more of these uh, or some undershirts. Um, I would have liked to at least hit a gold, but... Uh, Okay, yeah, so that makes sense now. So the All-Star, I'm just going to recap again. Just so I know for next time. All-Star insert is 1 in point one, eleven, uh, 1 in 1.11 1 um, or 1 in, in, in 11th uh, packs. And the red and the blue, you're pretty much getting... Um, See, it's funny that I got a blue foil and it says two and a half packs. Uh, but anyways, I guess whatever. Red is definitely going to get one in a pack. I'll have to maybe look on eBay, see which ones people are selling, which ones are, are, are worth the most. Oh, and then also, just so you guys know, I've never really done this in my life, but I know you can. If you just send... An envelope, or maybe I'll even try that and let you guys know how it works. Okay, it says you don't have to buy any underwear or shirts or whatever. Um, you can win an in oh, you can enter to win an insert card without purchase. Go to upper deck, uh, your name, your email address, zip code, phone number. But the reason they want that is because they're going to solicit you, they're going to solicit you with stuff in the mail. They're going to solicit you with stuff in your email. So keep in mind, they're going to have your information. They're going to use it for marketing. So you might not have to buy underwear, but in, in the essence, you'll be giving them all your address and information, and they'll mail you stuff. Um, they might even call you, you know, with solicitations and, and stuff like that. Uh, it's a big part of marketing, and uh, you just have to kind of factor, do you want to try and win an insert? Uh, and give up all your information so they could use for marketing. Uh, one per household. And it says failure to comply with re will result in disqualification of your entry. Which probably means you have to agree that they're going to send sell your information. And give your data out and stuff like that so other companies can solicit you. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. You're probably better off, honestly, just maybe buying uh, buying some underwear because if you give your information up, uh, you're going to get bombarded with phone calls and text messages probably nowadays and email um, from companies trying to sell you stuff. And you're like, how the heck did they get my phone number? And that's exactly how they get your phone number and addresses. When you enter for contests, uh, they give your information away. But anyways, that's it for now. It's still cheaper than buying blasters at $16, so it's like $4 less. And the payoff can be pretty huge if you can get a really nice insert. I'm sure if you hit a gold um, insert, that can probably go for something on eBay. So you got to factor if you want to spend $16 about probably more for shirts and underwear. I mean shirts and undershirt, undershirts and socks, you probably end up spending um, a little bit more. But I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'll definitely get some more of this. I'll see you guys later.